Are you ready to witness a game-changing engineering marvel that's set to revolutionize transportation in Croatia? The Peljezak Bridge, a $560 million China-Europe collaboration that's been in the works for years. Get ready to be blown away by this feat of modern engineering as we take a closer look at what's sure to become one of Croatia's most iconic landmarks. So what exactly is the Peljezak Bridge? Simply put, it's a 2.4-kilometer bridge with the height of 98 meters and 23.6 meters wide that spans the Adriatic Sea connecting the Peljezak Peninsula in Croatia to the mainland. But before we move forward, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below to stay updated with our latest videos. Now, let's continue. In the early 1990s, war ravaged the country of Croatia for five long years. Even after the war ended, the country remained divided. Split in two equal parts, the central region of Croatia is further divided by the neighboring country of Bosnia. As a result of Bosnia's actions, around 90,000 Croatian residents living in and around Dubrovnik are now cut off from the rest of the country. Traveling between the two territories means having to pass through Bosnia and Herzegovina and accepting border checks leading to long traffic delays, particularly at the port. This situation calls for urgent attention, and Croatia desperately needs to construct a border crossing bridge. The current state of affairs is passive, and the lack of a bridge means that people have to take a longer route to travel to the other side of the country, causing inconvenience and delay. In 2009, Croatia made the monumental decision to become a member of the European Union which they eventually achieved in 2013. As a part of their ambitious plan for infrastructure development, Croatia proposed the construction of a massive bridge project that would allow for improved transportation and connectivity. The total cost of the project was calculated to be around $5.6 billion, with the European Union expected to provide 85% of the funding. By 2018, the Croatian government had solicited bids from companies all over the world for the construction of the bridge, which would span across the sea. Companies from seven different countries, including Croatia, Germany, Austria, China, Italy, France, and the United States of America, were eager to win the bid. However, after a thorough review of all the bids, it was announced that China had been awarded the contract as the Chinese company's bid was the lowest. And they began the building process, marking the largest transportation infrastructure project that China had ever undertaken in Croatia. Diplomatic relations between China and Croatia were established, paving the way for the success of this project. The construction of any infrastructure project comes with its own set of challenges, and building a bridge is no exception. The construction process of a bridge is a complex task, that requires precision, attention to detail, and an unwavering focus on safety. The first challenge that the construction team faced was that the bridge was built over uncontaminated water, which posed several concealed safety risks. The location of the bridge within a protected natural setting added to the complexity of the project. Apart from these location-related issues, the design and manufacture of building materials were based on EU standards, which was a departure from previous projects where countries designed and manufactured their own materials. This new requirement added a layer of complexity to the construction process, which needed to be closely monitored and adhered to by the EU to ensure the highest quality standards were maintained throughout. Due to this, there was the need for strict supervision, which was necessary to ensure compliance with the EU's specifications. Given the complexity of the project and the involvement of the EU, the communication of the whole project required a significant amount of time and effort. The discrepancy between the EU's design draft and the Chinese engineering team's calculations was also a problem. The estimated height of the completed bridge did not match the actual situation and the height of the bridge needed to conform to the EU standard of 44 meters. However, Chinese engineers believed that this height could lead to potential collisions with large ships passing underneath. After discussions, a compromise was reached, and the bridge was constructed at a height of 50.5 meters proposed by China. However, despite these challenges, the project was operating at a high level of efficiency, 
and it was expected that the project will be completed within the agreed time frame. In July of 2018, the citizens of Croatia could finally breathe a sigh of relief as they celebrated the completion of the much-awaited cross-border bridge. This momentous occasion was marked with a grand celebration as hundreds of people gathered on the bridge, singing, dancing, and expressing their gratitude to the Chinese engineering team. It was a remarkable moment that marked the end of a long journey that started with the laying of the foundation stone. One of the most striking things about the celebration was the way in which people adhered to the centuries-old practice from China. The festivities included fireworks, which lit up the sky, communicating the most significant event in the history of Croatia to the rest of the world. The completion of the bridge was a momentous occasion that held significant implications for the country's economic and tourism industry. Before the bridge was built, people traveling from two different parts of Croatia had to travel through Bosnia, which often took up to a half a day, resulting in significant travel time and expenses. However, with the bridge's completion, travel time has been cut in half, resulting in time savings for travel and an improvement in the economics of the two regions. The concept of the regions in the field of tourism has also been positively impacted by the bridge's completion, leading to a significant increase in the number of tourists who opt to drive during their trip. The cities of Dubrovnik and Kosula have seen an uptick in the number of visitors in recent years, with the tourism industry growing at a significant rate, reaching an all-time high point. Mario Rati Britvik, an oyster farmer, attested to the benefits of the bridge. In addition to the time savings that the bridge provides for freight, it has also brought an incalculable amount of comfort to those in the seafood farming industry. In the past, there was no fast channel for the transportation of these products, and farmers were required to wait in line at the sea outlet, exposing the food to the extremely warm weather, which would eventually cause it to spoil, resulting in significant financial losses for them. However, now, with the bridge's completion, transportation has become more convenient, providing a boon to the seafood farming industry and others who rely on fast transportation. The completion of the cross-border bridge has indeed been a game-changer for Croatia, providing a boost to the country's economy and tourism industry while also making life easier for its citizens. However, the building of this bridge has been the subject of some debate ever since it was first conceived. There are those who believe that it is of great importance to the development of people's means of subsistence and the maintenance of peaceful coexistence. On the other hand, there are those who believe that once the bridge is finished, there will be an increase in the number of border disputes. For instance, when the bridge was constructed, it was designed to go around a small parcel of land that belonged to Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as the sole port that Bosnia possessed at the time. The construction of the border bridge is more than just an engineering endeavor, but it could also have repercussions on the political front. The creation of a bridge between the two parts of Persuvina will be the most effective means of achieving peace. However, this is a question that pertains to the future. At this point, when the bridge has been constructed, it appears that everything is moving in the right direction, and the two people's dreams had become a reality with the assistance of China. The completion of the cross-border bridge is a significant achievement that will undoubtedly bring long-lasting benefits to Croatia. With this achievement, workers' dreams in Croatia can be realized, and the country can look forward to implementing China's One Belt, One Road policy. As the world moves towards a more connected future, the completion of the cross-border bridge between Croatia and China is a significant step towards progress and development. If you found this information about the completion of the cross-border bridge in Croatia informative and engaging, then you might be interested in receiving more content like this in the future. To stay up to date with the latest news and insights, consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that like button. Hit the bell icon and be the first to know about future updates and informative pieces. And by liking our content, you'll help us reach a wider audience allowing us to continue bringing you quality content. Thanks for watching.